everybody Willie here in Antarctica at the great outdoors man it's cold my truck is letting me know right now well, there's ice oh yeah there's ice it's saying right there ice it's cold woke up to a 30 degree morning it's a quarter after eight New Year's Eve that's right going right into 2024 man where did the time go it just flies it's like all of a sudden when you get past like 35 or 40 you immediately started going into dog years. It's like time just flies on by. Have a couple of kids, get yourself a house payment, some car payments, get you a steady job for 30 some years. And then, man, I'm telling you the time just flies. Well, what we're gonna do today, it is Sunday, it is New Year's Eve. Um, it's eight o'clock in the morning. The Stagecoach Flea Market is open uh, as we speak gonna stop by an old ATM grab a couple bucks and see maybe if we can find something over there then maybe hit the antique store over there and break in the new year with maybe some something vintage something cool you know what I'm saying are you down with what I'm speaking but first thing we got to do is thaw out this big Chevy block of ice that I'm sitting in leather seats man Wow does that not put a chill in your bottom half whoo leather seats it's like it's carved right out of a block of ice Anyway, let's get on the road. I think we're thawed out enough we can get up the road now. That back window, let's get the rear defroster on. So uh, we're here in the parking lot at the flea market and it is cold. I mean, it is so cold. There's barely any vendors here whatsoever. I didn't find any reels. Uh, if I would have, I would have shown you. I did do something I don't normally do and I picked up a couple of rods. They were actually decent rods. They were, uh, they're Bass Pro Shops rods. One's a qualifier, uh, IM8 graphite, six foot. The other is a Microlite, IM7 graphite, I believe. And it's seven foot, a little bit flimsy and long and thin, but that's that's fine for what I do because I like the seven foot. I like that little flimsy, it's a fast action. All the eyelets were in great shape. The rods are just dirty. Cork handles, and that can be cleaned up with just a little bit of steel wool. You can get that ugliness off of the cork handles clean those up but all the eyelets are in great shape no nicks and dings or cuts in the in the rods where they would snap or anything so i paid two dollars a piece again i don't usually buy rods i don't buy vintage rods really but uh these were new enough and cheap enough definitely that uh they'll be okay we'll take them home and clean them up anyway we're gonna move on i gotta go to lowe's not gonna take you in there but uh we're gonna go on to there and then the antique store when they open up. It's only 9.30 and the antique store doesn't open till 11. So anyway, off we go again. So we are here at the antique store, which just opened up, uh, even though the door sticker says noon, their website says 11. Conflicting is what it is, but the open sign is on. And what I really like is there's a sign out there by the road that says 50% off. So we're going to hope that anything we find is 50% off. Okay, we're back in the truck. Um, I just did something I really don't normally do, but I have been here so many times and looked at uh, the same reel that has been in a cabinet in there for a long time. The lady opened up and as soon as they actually weren't open yet, but they had the open sign on for whatever reason. But uh, I went on in, she let me come in anyway. And I talked to the lady behind the counter. She has seen me numerous times come in and I know exactly where I'm going to. I go there to that particular display case. If that reel is there, I look at it and then I move on. Now what this, what this boils down to is one thing. There's a lot of people who have stuff that have randomly priced things and don't really know. And, and it's not something that's really in their repertoire as far as things they normally sell. This particular lady um, 
she sells a lot of toys, old vintage toys. And she knows her stuff with her old vintage toys. And I'm talking old metal wind up things and uh, stuff from the 50s and 60s, basically small items, nothing really huge. Um, and she knows her thing with toys. But this one fishing reel, this thing is in really, really good shape. It's very smooth. You don't hear any gear growl at all. Everything works like it's supposed to. It's in really good shape. Uh, the white paint on the name and everything has kind of just came off through the years. But this thing has been sitting in that showcase for years, years. And the lady behind the counter told me that this particular woman, it, she's kind of one of those, if I don't sell it, it doesn't sell, I don't care. And the lady knew that I have come in there so many times. She's like, how about we call the owner and see if she will come off of it? Now they wanted $75 for this reel. And I never could actually, you know what? How about we talk about this at home? That sounds good. Let's go to the house, get this thing taken apart and we'll talk about it there. I thought we would come out here where it's uh, nowhere near as peaceful, but bright and sunny anyway. And I'll show you these rods real quick because I'm going to clean these up out here. My hands are going to be like giant frozen baseball gloves here in just a few minutes. But uh, I'm going to show you what we got real quick. These two things anyway. This is a, a Microlite, Bass Pro Shops Microlite. It's in good shape. I don't remember these being on the end of them, but looks like somebody did that, put a cap on the end of the thing, but it's in pretty good shape. All the eyelets are in good shape. It's a two-piece rod. Everything seems to be good. There's no cuts or hacks or snags, and it just needs to be cleaned up. But uh, let's see, what is it? Seven foot, two to six pound line, ultralight action, fast. I'm all about it. We're gonna get this cleaned up, get that taken care of. Two dollars. Two dollars. Then we got another one here is a qualifier. This is a four to twelve pound line, so obviously a little stronger rod, I guess. But it's only six foot. Again, core candles. We'll go clean those up. Everything was in good shape. It's just dusty and dirty and funky. We'll go clean all that up. All the eyelets are in good shape. They're all there, not broken. No gashes or cuts in the in the rod but uh i'm gonna get them cleaned up these would be great rods nothing wrong with these again two dollars now this is how i clean the cork and stuff up just one of these sos pads you can see where it's all dark and funky there you just go over it all that is is hand funk and where people caught fish and things like that takes it right off cleans it up make it look brand spanking dang on new back in the warmth of the home as soon as I can make a fist again without my knuckles actually cracking not just popping I'm talking breaking off all right let's take a look at the, the feature of the day I love it when they this that just it makes me feel like they care there we are get a good look at it here man look at that shine right there wow 
Now, there's a couple of things wrong. We're going to look at it real quick, but I wanted to give you this first view and tell you how this came about. I was in there. We're going to make this store short. I came in right when they opened. I didn't film anything. I walked right to the actual showcase that had this reel in it like I've done probably 25 or 30 times. The lady knew me as soon as she seen me. She smiled and she said, that reel's still in there. And I laughed and I said, yeah, it's probably going to be at that price. She goes, well, let me call the lady because maybe she just doesn't realize that they aren't that much. I said, please, that'd be great. I'm going to walk around the store. My name is Willie. Just yell when you, you know, need me. Not that big a store. I'll come in. She get on, got on the phone with the lady, talked to the lady, found out that this was her husband's reel, okay? That's, her husband priced it, and that's why it was in there at $75. He's never looked it up. He's never checked or anything like that. It's been in that showcase now. They, they moved into that store five years ago or five or six years ago, and it's been in that showcase for the last five or six years. Um, she said, I've looked online. The sales lady told her, so I've looked online. They don't, they don't go for that. That's twice what, you're at, what normal people ask for them with the boxes and the papers and blah, 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 and everything else. So long story short, she yells my name. I come to the front, $35. $35. I didn't mind that. This reel is in great shape. It's got one problem. One. Now, I've already taken it apart and looked, and I'm going to take you down here and let you look. But it's got one problem that I think I can fix pretty quick. So anyway, let's get down to the table and take a good look at it. But I will tell you, the first thing you need to do when, in situations like that is talk to the person. They may not realize that what they have isn't worth what they're asking. Some do, believe me, some do. And they don't care if they sell it or not. But there are people who have things in their showcases that belong to someone else who's priced it at a price that it's not going to sell for. And the lady was very happy to get it out and get it moving because she sold toys and her husband's fishing reel was mixed in with her big cabinet full of toys. <laughs> so, needless to say, Let's get down to the table here and uh, we'll take a look at this thing. Everything good right there? Everybody good with that? Can everybody see? Everybody in the back? Can y'all see? First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at one thing that this, these happen, this happens a lot to these reels. If you notice, the crank is angled inward toward the cap. It's angled inward toward the cap. The reason for that is people, they drop the things and when they drop them, they hit and when, I mean, it doesn't look like it's got any scarring on it or anything, but I mean, you could have dropped that on the carpet and bent that inward, or someone could have just pushed on it, one or the other. You can see it had started to turn color. It's a little darker on this side than it is on this side because it was sitting in the, the thing. Uh, the, it was sitting in its jail like this with the lights coming down on it. So you can see this side's kind of darker from where the light was coming in on it. But that's all on that side. So let's get this thing... I'm going to show you the part that I noticed that's actually broke, but I should be able to fix it. Look at there. She's split. And that's just age. That's all that is. Uh, be honest with you, that's the first one of those I've ever seen do that. Let's take that off of there. Put that in there. That looks good. Okay, so it has been used slightly. I can tell because of the hole you can see it I'm gonna try to the hole is slightly misshapen on it it's just just barely just barely so it has been used it was just very well taken care of when it was used so the flat side of that hole has a little bit of a dent in it but that's okay that's no big deal yep just dirty just needs to be cleaned it's old oil it does still have some line on it in there put that in there we don't have any bushings at all all of our threads look good. No bushings. We're going to go with the Phillips head because these screws, when you get up into the 100B, you have the choice of flat head or Phillips. Now for the unveiling. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that looks good. There is grease in there. Get our face plate out of here. Come out of there. Did you hear what I said? Come on now. Quit playing. Face plate. Switch. 
button, doodah. Now we just push Come on out of there, stop playing. Do you hear me? There we go, got our gear. Our gear looks looks good from what I can see. Everything looks really good in there. I don't think I'm gonna actually take the entire drag knob off. I don't, it's so clean inside, I don't really see the necessity behind it. And there we go, we're totally apart, which means we can go clean her up. So, six and a half hours later, nah, I'm just kidding, uh, we are, we're all cleaned up and I, I am just, I am, I am overwhelmed, overjoyed, tickled to death at how nice this thing came out. It's very clean, however it's still wet. Let me get a towel here. It was barely used, I mean barely used, or, or either if it was really used, it was extremely well taken care of. We just need to get her put back together now. Everything's working great. Get a little grease and oil in it and uh, we'll talk a little bit about it after that. Okay, now this is the this is a special part because uh, here is the piece that's broke. Now it is cracked, and you could technically still still use this, but here's what I feel is so special about this. I've always told you guys keep parts, right? There you go. There are some parts now. Here is what I, not just the fact that I actually, that I actually have this part, but this reel right here is the very first uh, Johnson reel that I bought when I started doing the YouTube channel. I am still using parts off of this reel because it was in terrible shape. It was broke all two pieces inside the crank area and everything. I've used all kinds of parts from this reel. And now, here we have a unbroken, see that? An unbroken, basically a wing nut to hold the rotor onto the reel. And we have a legitimately perfect, all except for that little mess up there, but I don't have a, a new rotor to put on it. But I've told you, keep those parts. Keep those parts. Now we take our new wing nut button thing. Bent the crank back where it should be. Put our fancy lid on and there we go. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of chatter in there, but once that grease gets all worked around, then they're good. This is the part that I love the most. The old wipe down. Get your fingerprints and the excess grease and oil and all that stuff. And uh, several reasons why this, is, this one's special to me. Um, I had been going in that antique store for many, many years, and this reel has been in there for many, many years. And uh, I've seen it, walked past it. They had firm written on the price tag. He had asked, been asking that 75 bucks for it for a long time. Um, the lady behind the counter 
thankfully said have you priced these things on eBay you've got it for about twice what it actually should sell for there's no box there's no papers blah 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 and when I opened it up found it that wing nut was cracked therefore she asked me more or less what I would pay for the thing I'm not gonna rip anybody off that's not what I do it's not how I work but it is worth what I paid definitely because this reel is incredible um, all the white is gone from the name and everything but I mean this thing's nice <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the nicest 110 that I have. Um, and I only had one 110B. Yeah, the only other one I've got that's like this is I, I got a couple of 110s, straight 110s, a 110-A, 110-A. But the 110B that I had was that one right there. <laughs> that was the only one I had, and it was in pieces. So there you go. This thing's incredible. Great way to start off a new year. Today is actually New Year's Eve. Thank you guys for another wonderful year. We've made it up to about 1170, I think it is, subscribers. And uh, I've been told that I really, I don't push hard enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna push. That's not how I work, it's not how I do things. I put out some videos if you want to watch. If you like what I do, then you subscribe and you say, I like this guy. And yeah, well, tell me about other, you know, tell other people about me. That's how it works. Word of mouth. And could be a fishing reel, could be a monkey, could be a bicycle, could be camping, could be a fun car, could be a parade, could be anything. Anyway, hope everybody has a good year. Hope everybody had a great Christmas. 2024 is upon us. New things are coming. New monkey trips, new camping trips. New reels, new old reels, maybe new reels. Who knows? You just never know. You just never know, and that's the whole thing. We'll see you on the next one, whatever the next one may be. All right, I'm putting some more grease on that. That's all there is to it.